Okay, four jaws back on. I just want to check see that that's running true still. Take that gear off, that helps. Looks good to me still. Tighty lefty loosey. This is the thread in here we need to replicate. So, this is the nut that goes on. Let me show you. It goes on the bottom of the coil on there, and that's where I want to screw on the. Uh, this collet chuck onto. So I want that internal don't I? So we've got that looks exactly one inch. So I can do that. I can bore that exactly to one inch. And we are at, I said we were at just over 20 at the minute or 20 mils, so we're, we're 8.2. So we ain't got far to go. Thank you. 
about half an inch. I think we can say with a little spring cut we are probably there. I'll leave as is then. Okay. So like I said I've done that to roughly half inch but that there is only That's 0 0.4, 0 0.44 depth on that, so half inch will be fine. So the next thing we need to do is set up for an internal thread. Yikes! How will I get on with that? Uh, let's see. Okay, I've got a threading tool in there quite a small one but I think that's enough to do this well, I thought I'd just have a look see what the run is run out is on on this now, that surface was turned um, with the uh, this bit in the three jaw chuck so it was all turned yeah all together with the center and whatever so That is on there. Let's do it from this side, and you can see that is two hundredths of a millimeter. So I think that is pretty damn fine to me. And if you want to do the math on that and work it out, what that is in fat in foul, you'll see that is actually nothing so let's have a go at threading now now I wasn't going to um, set the compound slot or the top slide sorry for threading that little bit I was just going to do it as soon as it's such a small one just do it straight feed in on this I've got to set, set the change gears up. So, where's my thread gauges? There they are. I just want to verify what this is. I reckoned it was a 20 pitch. Come 
to the other side. 19, and that is the 20. All right, let's bring you out. I think you can see what I'm doing now. So yeah, I'm going to verify the thread in this. That looks right. I'll just check on the spindle of the drill. Yes, that is 20 TPI. Okay, so. Uh, all right. I've got a big chart on here, so for 20 TPI, I want a 20 and a 100. 20 on the uh, tumbler mandrel and 100 on the lead screw. Okay, I'll get that set up. Okay, done a scratch pass and verified, so we know we're there. Um, what I'm going to do is do the feed on the cross line, like I said before. So, we want to bring that back to there. I want to do about five thou cut every time. I'll try it anyway. Okay, let's give that a go. I did cut a recess in there for the uh, cutter to drop into, so... Just measured the outside diameter of the threads on the spindle. I'm getting 0.7, so I want 35 thou, don't I? Depth. So I'm going to go. always runs under doesn't it a little bit Another 
couple of spring cuts and then we're going to take it off and try it. If it was just the right length, that tape was coming down there. So there's no way of getting the collar in. That's good, that. I like that. So the next thing we want to do is machine a couple of flats on here so we can get a spanner around it. Now, I think I'll do it on this larger part here and we'll probably do that in the lathe I'll see if I can fit it onto the in the fore jaw and then we'll just machine a flat off turn it 180 machine another flat off okay there you go that's the internal thread the external thread and a nice tape.